Hi guys, guess who has a channel? Guess who's on YouTube? Say ya, cuz. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Seya Coles and I'm going to talk about random stuff so we can say random just with Seya Coles. Oh, it's a privilege to be here. You guys should show me some love by subscribing to my page, liking my videos, sharing my videos, and dropping your comment. Just show your girl some love. Yes. My first video on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, guys, yes, I've been making videos, but I actually put them on IGTV, and someone suggested, why don't you just move to YouTube? Like, I mean, just move to YouTube. Yeah, let get people get to know you. So, I hope you pay your friends for them. Sorry to subscribe to my channel. Yes, my name is Sayakos, and this is my first YouTube video on my channel. Ah, on my channel. You are so dope. This is my first YouTube video. I would like to do a get to know me tag. So, you get to know the girl who's going to bring it random just for you. Time so time. let's jump right in. <laughs> so I wrote um 35 questions, I wrote 30 questions, and then I asked people to ask me questions on social media. And then they asked actually only five people asked, so I'm going to answer their questions. So let me start with question number one. I wrote them down in my journal. Question number one What is your full name? My full name is the say blessing a recovery on your name. A cost yeah, there are plenty names. I love to tell people my name because it's much. But my certificate, you see, they say a blessing accessible. Yes, my name is say a blessing accessible. I don't know because I'm next to them. So if you come blessing on the street and I don't answer you, try to remember my main names. I'll, I'll answer you. Yeah, question number two, how old are you? I'm 24, but how old do you think I look? Some people think, my cousin told me some months ago I look 16. What do you think? I'm 24. I'll be 25 very soon. Yes, the big 25 is on its way. I'm going to be 25 very soon. <laughs> I'm 24 years old. Next question is, um, what are your hobbies? My hobbies should be listening to music, singing. Do I have a horrible voice? Singing, um, surfing the net, just going through the net, browsing stops about business, lifestyle, this, that, 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 that. Um, Dancing, yes, yes. I cannot hear music as well, so dancing is also a hobby. Um, sometimes reading, sometimes writing, <laughs> sometimes talking. <laughs> yes, extrovert or introvert? Hmm. Some days I'm an extrovert, sometimes, <laughs> some days I'm an extrovert, other days I'm an introvert. Like, there are times I just like to be left alone, like, don't disturb me, I want to be on my own. There are times where I'm wild and cool. No, I'm not wild. I'm not wild. Just Sometimes I just want to go out, do this, do that, do that, and do that. So I'm in between. I'm an ambivert. Yep. <laughs> Next question: Three things that make me happy. Hey, three things that make me happy. Number one, my family. Number two, food. Number three, money. Cooking makes me happy guys i mean those are the three things that makes me so happy. the next question question number six the meaning of your name hey this is the part i like i love telling people with me of my name do you know why my name you say the same means desired if you browse it you see desired what i desire and some people tend, tend to call me desire because they don't know how to say so if you call me desire ah oh, i'll answer you blessing as the name implies blessing i'm a blessing to you 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 and you a recovery a recovery means a woman that comes with good things. So, when you read Proverbs 18.22, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And I'm a woman that comes with good things. So you can say, I'm the definition of a Proverbs 18.22 woman. <laughs> On your name, he means big woman. Of course, I don't even know my surname. Yep. So that's the meaning of my name. Next question. Three words that describe you. Hey! That's all describe me now. Let me describe myself. Number one, I'm annoying. I can be annoying. I know my friends can ask, attest to that I can be annoying. I can be amazing. And I can be amazing, annoying, and um, sometimes crazy. Just saying that I'm me. 
Next question, where did you grow up? I grew up in Makodi Benue State. I'm in Nigeria, by the way. So I grew up in Makodi Benue State. That's in the North Central. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where are you from? This question would have come for me. Like, what did I write now? I'm from Bayelsa State. Yes. Bayelsa State in Nigeria. I'm from, okay, let me start this. I'm from Nigeria, Bayelsa State. That's the southern part of Nigeria. Yes. So you can say I'm from the south, south region of Nigeria. <laughs> I'm the of the Jurassic. I'm from the South South region. Next question: Dogs or cats? Man, like notice people saying that um, they, they say dogs are uh, man's friend. So why would I pick cats when a dog is my friend? Man, at this point of my, I hope you know that I love dogs. I'll pick dogs over cats every day, anytime, any day, any day. <laughs> tea or coffee? I'm not really a tea person. I don't drink tea. I hardly drink tea. But if you give me tea, you give me coffee, I'll carry coffee and drink. I don't know why people drink tea. I don't know the usefulness of tea. Eh? I don't really know why people drink tea. So if you give me tea, give me coffee. I will pick coffee anytime, any day. Next question. Scary movies or happy ending? Me. You look me finish. You think I would like scary movie. Ah, I don't watch scary movie. Like even when my brothers are watching, I don't sit down to watch with them. Like that shit is scary. Like me, that's scary. And I'm a sucker for love. I'm a sucker for robotic things. <laughs> I can watch a robotic movie and start crying. So I'm a happy ending person. I mean, happy ending anytime, any day. Put it, let's watch. <laughs> Single or taking? How is that your business? What's that? Single or taking? Once you know. <laughs> well, they said if you are not married, you are single. So I'm single about to be taken. Because I work by feet and not by sight. So I'm about to be taken. I'm single though, but about to be taken. Uh, yes, someone has taken me already, but officially, officially taken. Yes, yes. Um, next question. Three things I love. Oh, okay, that one's making me happy. Food, money. And what did I say? Food, money. So three things I love. Number one, I love God. Number two, I love my family. If you know me very well, you know I love my family so much. And when I say family, my friends are also inside. Mm-hmm. God, my family, my friends. And thirdly, I love my hustle. Yes, I love my hustle so much. Oh, next question. What talent do you wish you were good at? Remember when I said, I love singing. I really wish I had a wonderful voice. I really wish I could sing, but I cannot sing. I love to sing. Like you don't hear me sing. Let me sing for you. Let me sing. Mm. Uh. <laughs> right, let me sing. So I get my mind. We lift your name higher. We lift your name. I mean, I don't have a nice voice, and I really that's the talent I wish I had singing. I don't know how to sing that much. I love to sing, but I don't have a voice for singing. Yes, that's it. What are my life goals? Okay, my life goals is I want to be a very successful businesswoman. Yes. To be able to influence teenagers, as teenage girls to be precise, like teens, teenage girls, to be able to help them know that there's more to life than the things we did those days and all this having boyfriends and so much. I said that's one thing I want to do. <laughs> that's what I want to talk about. Um, I also want to educate them on living their dreams, having a dream for their life, following their goals, their ambition, and their ambition for life, and working in their divine purpose. That's one thing I have, one of my life goals. And to be a wonderful wife to my husband, to be a wonderful <laughs> mother to my kids, to be a wonderful sister to my brothers, to be a very a wonderful daughter to my parents. <laughs> These are my life goals. <laughs> I want me to come at them all CPT. No sense. iOS or Android? Right now, I'm using an Android phone, but I really want to have an iOS, that's an Apple phone, because um, I have an Android already. That's number one, because I always tell people, if I don't have an Android, I don't want an Apple. So I already have an Android phone, so I want an Apple. So if you're watching this video and God wants to use it, you can just buy me the iPhone 9 that is coming out next month, <laughs> in the month of March. So just buy it for me. Thank you in advance. Next question, my favorite YouTubers. Hey, I watch YouTube a lot, though, India. <laughs> I watch YouTube a lot. Let me not myself. I watch YouTube a lot, and 
my favorite youtubers number one my favorite tv girl so Mike Adeoye, jeez. Do you follow that girl vlog? God, you are missing. So Mike is a whole Like she inspires me a lot. And that's why my videos are not ordinary most times. See me, I'm always acting up. I learned I learned that from to Mike. That's my first favorite <laughs> YouTuber. My second one has to be Tolu Lopez Solutions. Oh, she talks about marriage, she talks about lifestyle, talks about everything, dates, and I mean her vlog is to die for. Who again do I like what you know? I think that would be my number two. I can't think of any other person right now. And I watch random YouTube videos. Like, I, okay, I found them um, Tope Alabi. Is it Tope Alabi? Yeah. Tosin in Alabi. And yes, I like her, her vlogs too. They are very nice. Makinda, Makinda something. Makinda. Makinda, so she talks us about um, planning a wedding. And why I like it is because I always had this desire to go into event planning, like planning a wedding. So I, would, I love that. The fact that she shared her ideas and I can apply for my ideas and like use it to implement a friend's wedding, use it to plan my own wedding and on and on and on. Next question. How many siblings do you have? Hey, I have four. No, sorry, I have three. <laughs> I'm the fourth person. I have three siblings. They are all boys. I, like, I mean, I have three amazing brothers, annoying brothers, handsome brothers, loving and caring brothers. Yes, baby boys, I love you guys so much. I hope you know that you are aware I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> I have three amazing brothers, three amazing brothers, like I said, yes, handsome brothers, so come and pick me, first. come and pick me now, before I will give you and I'm the only girl, I'm the only girl, <laughs> next question, dream job as a kid, hey God, when I was growing up, my dad even called me an accountant, because I always wanted to be an accountant, even up till my um, secondary school days, university, even up to SS3, I was just talking something related to accounting, like that's always been my dream. Why did I want to be an accountant? Because I felt accountants are rich, they count money. So I felt I thought that I love money, money makes me happy. So <laughs> so um I wanted to be an accountant because I felt I'll have access to money, I'll have money and all and all and all. My dad actually started calling me an accountant. I'm I'm like his accountant still where he likes it to be an accountant. So um when I was in John uh, SS3 he said when you ask me, ah, so what do you want to study? I went to science class. It's because people tell me that it's because science class, because you can do accounting. I went to science class. So that's what I was just being as a I said, I want to be an economist. And I was like, like economist, which is science. I'm like, yeah, economics is not bad. So I said to accounting. Still, so that's it. That was my dream job. My dream job as, an, as a kid. Next question, my wrong mother. My wrong mother has to be my mother. Why is she my wrong mother? Because my mom is an achiever. Like, I, she's... One time for my mom is to be independent. Yes, not independent, but my mom is an achiever. She's someone who still, at her age, she still goes to achieve stuff. My mom just finished her BSc. She will soon go for masters. She will soon go for PhD. See, don't get my mom. My mom is an amazing woman. She inspires me a lot, but she doesn't know that, but she does. Yes, so my mom is my role model. She's an achiever. She makes me want to go for that goal, go and achieve that. Like, makes me believe that age is just a number you can achieve. This at any age. I mean, my mom's an achiever, and I love her so much. Kisses, mommy. <laughs> my favorite Bible character. My favorite Bible character has to be Deborah. Why? Because Deborah was a wife. She was a judge. She was a mother. She was that. She was this. She was everything. So Deborah makes me believe that a woman can be a wife and still be successful in her career or in her business. That's what Deborah has taught me. And Dream to be like the brass on big because Chris, I mean, she does a bad stuff whether she likes it or not. <laughs> My favorite food. I like food though. I told you food makes me happy. I like food. I love yummy food. But recent, I noticed that there's something that happens to me when I see moi moi. <laughs> Am I not weird? <laughs> when I see moi moi, or I see porridge yam, or porridge on red plantain. By yourself, we call it keke fie, keke e. Those three food, they do something to my system. Like right now, I'm tired of rice. They do something to my system. Like porridge, jam, moi moi, kekefia, or right plantain porridge, pottage. Okay, who call it pottage? Young pottage, on right plantain pottage, and um, moi moi. Moi moi is bean. Is it bean cake? No, it's made from beans. Yes, but those are non Nigerians. It's made from beans. My next question, biggest actually um, accomplishment. My biggest accomplishment will be. 
the day I started my first business. I've always wanted to be a business, going like be a businessman. So the first day I started my business, Delish Bite Jeez, I felt like I've made it in life. Like I felt like I don't know, but I felt so much achievement in my spirit, body, and soul. Like I was so excited that finally I've done something in my life. <laughs> like that is my biggest achievement. That's time my Delish Bite business. It's it made me realize that I can do anything through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. And I'm really happy that I did this. Yes. So, are you a good cook? Am I a good cook? I'm not a bad cook. I'm not a perfect cook. I'm not. I put myself on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being bad, very bad, and, and 10 being very good. I'll give myself a 6. And I'm still learning. So, I mean, nobody's perfect. Even the chefs that have a. Um, that do food be, food vendors, even though they make mistakes sometimes. So I'm not a perfect cook. I'm not a good I'm not a perfect good cook. I'm a good cook. I can cook most days. And I can learn if it's sweet today, I'll learn something. Fast. Next question. Are you more inclined to build your own empire or unleash the potential of others? My dear with the way our country is <laughs> Okay, not really the way our country is, but for me to unleash my own potential and um, to build my own empire sorry i have to have um, a certain amount of funds to help me build my own empire and all so for now i'm actually helping others unleash their own potentials while i'm still working on my own empire working on building my own empire because one day you will hear that say akosubo maybe that they are married future son but say akosubo has her own empire yep. So watch this space for my empire. Been in love before. Been in love. Falling out of love. Still in love. Yup, I'm still in love with Jesus and you know whatever. My favorite holiday destination. My favorite holiday destination has to be Dubai. I don't know why people dream of going to other countries and um, um, maybe Bari, but I have this dream of going to Dubai. <laughs> Like, I, I, I want to go to Dubai so badly. Like, if I have money today, save me. I feel like I go to Dubai. Like, I want to go and see Dubai. I've heard a lot about Dubai. Like, Dubai, the excellence, this. So I want to go and see Dubai. So that's my favorite holiday destination, aside others. Paris and the rest, Greece and all. But you see Dubai, I want to go. Next question. Social media, I'm addicted to. My girl, is Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> so don't forget I have Facebook. That's the Instagram then um, WhatsApp. But see Instagram. I can go to Instagram and not be going through pages. Checking things. Following vendors. Doing this one. L uh, watching this video. Uh, it's YouTube. Is YouTube also a, a social media? If it is that now, so that I go to watch videos. Then WhatsApp. I can even say I can even view us every so I can view my own stuff and say, ah, it's what I view like. That's how I'm going to this to social media. Yeah, I, I, this is a tired question. No, geez, I'm almost done. One thing about you that people don't know, and one thing about you that people mistake you for. Please let me start with the part that people mistake me for. Mm? Because I am tired. I am fed up. You don't put here me. <laughs> like, one thing people mistake me for. Let me start with that one. So, if will see me on the road and be like, Hi, how are you? How are you? Cool. I'm like, hmm? okay, maybe they're thinking of masters, but um, most of them don't think of masters. They think of bachelor's degree, BSc. I'm like, oh, I'm done with school. Oh, are you serving? No, I'm not serving. I'm actually working. I'm like, such a young girl. I'm not young. Stop it. I only look young, girl. young, girl, young. Girl. But I'm really not young. I've told you my age. I'm 24. About to, I will soon be 25. So that one people mistake me for some days ago one someone asked me someone in my office he was on that on that unit, he was like um when i finish your nyc and there's where i left on some such people oh i'm done with my service i'm done serving and they're like are you serious i'm like yeah i'm done oh no I'm like oh i'm sorry first of all like, yeah, yeah. i like to answer those kind of people but with this kind of attitude face oh you're in one level sure i'm done with school are you serious? Oh yes, I'm done with school. I'm sad now. No, mm -hmm, mm, that was when I was sad. I remember when I was even in school, university, like 200 level, 300 level. When there, it's because my mom's in market. You know that September rush in the market where they have to um, buy 
to the um, secondary school students stuff. I was looking at my mom in the market and they were like, Madam, we get canvas for your daughter. We get a um, school bag for your daughter. Ah, my mom stopped with that was like, I was like, sir, for me. Me like this. I said, sir, I'm a 300 level. Don't look down on me. I was angry. I, was, I used to be in pain, but when people think I'm still in second. Like, I'll go for my younger brother's visiting that somebody will be like, that was there. I'll go for my younger brother's visiting and I'll be like, how is school? What class are you in? That class, you're not seeing university. The one was going to secondary school. I'm like, mom, don't risk. I'm actually in school. Like, it was pain. It was one day one was like, you have to feel happy that people think you look young. And I'm like, I'm that big. Set me like a big. So that's what my cousin told me. I look 16. My cousin is I'm like, I look 16. <laughs> well, I'm 25. We're about to be 25. Okay, the first one was one thing you, about you that people don't know. I cannot sleep without a duvet. Ah, blankets, wrapper, anything. I can't sleep without covering myself. I'm not covered. I'm not sleeping. Even if, eh, see, sun is on top of my head. I must cover. And I want to let us be covered. Yeah, that's it. So let me head down to my Instagram. Those are the 30 questions I set for myself to answer. So you know about me. Yup, yup, yup. So. Let me talk about the extra questions I got from Instagram. Some of the questions are very annoying. Like, when I answer a question, you know the person. You know yourself. <laughs> so, number one question. What was the last movie you went to? And what did you think? What did you think? The last movie I went to, I'm not a movie person, but the last movie I went to was in last year, I think. I went to watch Aladdin in the cinema. It was nice. It was nice. It was nice. Yeah, I'm not a movie person. It was nice, nice, I guess. So, next question. <laughs> This question that this is the answer. You gotta miss it. How is your man? My man is fine. My man is okay. My man is doing good. Are you okay now? That's such a question. <laughs> Next question. Who is your fiance? <clears throat> Did you see a ring on my hand? Did I tell you I'm engaged? I'm not engaged, guy. Uh -uh. Try to with your fiance. Guy or girl. Why are you asking me that kind of question? Are you normal? <laughs> Next question. I like this question. This question made me to smile a lot. I, see that. I keep thinking about this question every day, so let me answer it. You always smile, laugh, both in person and on camera. What's the secret behind that? Oh, thank you. I didn't know I smile a lot, even outside camera. I didn't know I laugh a lot, even outside camera. I actually see myself as a very tight of person. So, I mean, this is really fun. So when somebody sees me on the I'm like, ah, I thought someone said you always smile. Why are you smiling on your face? Okay, what's the secret behind that? I don't think I have a secret. I just believe. This life you cannot kill yourself. Yeah, that's it. I don't think I have a secret. I just believe. This life you cannot kill yourself. Things happen. There are days I'm angry. I don't smile sometimes. Like, you don't even want to see me in that mood. Like, I try to laugh and just let life, let life, life, um, life um, issues slide. Don't let life issues weigh you down. No matter what. But we say we should not worry for anything. Your prayers make your request known, known to God. Don't worry at all. Don't be anxious about everything. Just, you can't change anything in this life. So, smile a lot. Like, you look um, bit more beautiful when you smile. I think I told somebody, if I go to shop right and I'm smiling with somebody at shop right, and then they don't smile back. I said, sorry, don't. And then they don't smile back. But I'll be like, do you know you look beautiful when you smile? The cashier will not smile. Some are very harsh, don't even smile, don't even pay me. I hate when I greet somebody, I'm smiling at you. I like to even see people smile. Like, I can go to shower, like, hello, how you doing? How was work today? Or how's work today? Like, I can pass, I can tell you, you look good just to make you smile. Like, I just believe there are so many issues in life, and then we should not let those issues wear us down and burn our face and do stuff. We should just let us smile more often. This is not any noise you hear. The kids are are making noise. Last question, why is your smile ever radiant? I didn't know this smile of mine is ever radiant. I think I'm going to be smiling more often in camera. And people always tell me to pose like this. I hate that. I hate such pose I like it. I don't like it. I like to come pose. It makes it not show that picture is incomplete. When I was taking my birthday shot last year and I like someone like, say yeah, do this boss today. I just I'm like, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. I like the lies. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know why my smile. Okay, my smile is ever radiant because Jesus loves me. I know He loves me and I love Him too. Even when I fail Him, I know His love and mercy always keeps me. So I smile. The smile takes away the blue in a very cold mood. So smile. Smile. 
Even when you sad, just smile. Sorry, I'm showing my bad talent. Whenever you're sad, just smile. No matter what you're going through, just smile. So we've come to the end of the get to know me. I hope you've known some fact about me to my new subscribers. To the new people that follow that are subscribing to my page and you don't even know from anywhere. I hope you have actually um, heard something and now you know me to an extent. I mean, I actually say almost everything about me. What did I not say? <laughs> I cannot call my village. <laughs> I did not say where I live. <laughs> but okay, thank you guys. So don't forget to subscribe. I will keep skipping. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please support me. Support me. Subscribe. So that I will make more videos. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like it. Watch it. Comment also. And yeah, I'm sorry that my first video has to be this long. I'm trying to make my videos short. Please, just bear with me, guys. I love you all. Thank you, guys, for stopping by on my channel. You see, this is how they talk channel. <laughs> Bye, guys. Peace out. Kisses.